The scars and stains of racism still remain deeply embedded in American society. Whether it is stop and frisk in New York or injustice in a Trayvon Martin case in Florida. And horrific violence that has taken the lives of Trayvon Martin and young people all across America. For today, 50 years later, my friends, we are still crippled by practices and policies steeped in racial pride, hatred, and hostility, some of which have us standing our ground rather than finding common ground. If freedom is going to ring in Libya, in Syria, in Egypt, in Florida, then we must reach across the table, feed each other, and let freedom ring. Today, there are no white sheets, but there are judges in black robes in the U.S. Supreme Court who struck down Section 4 of the Voting Rights Act opening the floodgates in many states to pass more voter ID laws to block people of color and young people from voting, with the goal of ensuring we never see another black man elected to the president or woman of the United States of America. Some of the insensitive and divisive rhetoric from yesterday's 50th anniversary celebration of the Mar March on Washington. Here with reaction to that much more, radio talk show host Richard Fowler and Fox News contributor Katie Pavlich. Uh, the Supreme Court, you're going to compare them, Richard, to the KKK and <laughs> Florida. You're going to compare to Syria. And we're going to make the I Have a Dream speech about Trayvon Martin. Really? Well, I don't. I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel. Thanks for having me first, Sean. But I got to tell you, I think what these individuals are speaking about yesterday is what the community feels and what the African-American community feels. Hey, they Richard, feel what part of my question didn't you understand? I asked you, they were comparing our Supreme Court to the Ku Klux Klan. You're going to defend that? You're going to support that? Is that it, what Martin it, Luther it, King it, was talking wait, about? Wait a second, Sean. Wait a second now. I think what they're trying to say is when the Supreme Court can sit there and gut the second, the, the Voting Rights Act, even though we know that we have voter excuse suppression me, happening all across your this country, we have a serious just, problem. Excuse me. I don't need your interpretation. We have the words of Melanie Campbell. Oh, today there are no white cheats, but there are judges in black robes on the U.S. Supreme Court comparing our justices on the Supreme Court to the Ku Klux Klan. Plan? You're going to defend not what that? They, uh, uh, no, it's not what they do. It's what they justify. They justify gonna, voter suppression. <laughs> they justify voter suppression, voter suppression Sean. It's not voter Go ahead. suppression. You know, it's interesting It's not that, voter suppression that African that... Americans wait two times longer than white folks to vote. That's not voter suppression. Okay, I waited a really long time to vote last time, and I didn't complain about voter suppression. Where, where did called, you vote? Wait, it's called in Virginia, which is, you know, used to be and part you waited of the Confederacy. Too, uh, and you wait, uh, and, and, you, and but, it's my turn to okay. talk now. If you're going to do TV, you might want to learn some TV etiquette. First of all, let's talk about the fact that Bill Clinton spoke yesterday yesterday when Bill Clinton, we want to talk about the Ku Klux Klan, Sean, let's talk about Bill Clinton defending Robert Byrd for his, his participation in the Ku Klux Klan as a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Wait, you know who his mentor that's was? A straw, that's a, a straw second, man, Mr. Katie, Fowler. you know it. The, it's the, a fact. Bill Clinton's Thank mentor you. was J. William Fulbright, right. known segregationist. Exactly. The only Republican on stage yesterday was Abraham Lincoln, right, at the Lincoln Memorial. And, I love ask, how yourself, nobody, ask yourself why. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm speaking ask now. yourself Richard, why. Let, let her John, finish. Let, her Let me finish. You want to talk about voter ID? The, the one Republican who was invited not to um, participate in a speaking position, but to only attend the celebration yesterday of Martin Luther King's 50th anniversary, was Tim Scott, who is the only black the only black senator in the United States Senate, and it just so happens that he supports voter ID. He doesn't think voter ID, he's from a southern state, by the way, he doesn't think voter ID is all about voter suppression right. because it's not. Let me ask you a question about this. And Go you ahead. guys didn't invite him to speak. Why? Because no, wait, he doesn't well, no, no, no. show well, let's the get line the facts on straight. that agenda. Let's get, let's get the facts. Even if he was invited to speak, his staff indicated that he wasn't even in town to come to the rally to right, begin Mr. with. Mr. Fowler, I got a question for you. Now, I went to the DNC convention uh, in 2012. You know what I needed to get in? A credential? A photo ID. <laughs> That's so not true. So I went to the DNC excuse convention. Excuse I didn't need, a, I, well, I didn't need I needed an ID. a photo ID. Now, I have a question for you. <laughs> if we needed to get into the DNC convention, what is so wrong with people having an honest system where people identify themselves while they're voting to be Americans? Tell me what's, what's racial about okay. that in any way. Hope I will tell you exactly what the problem here is, Sean, is that they're, they're mandating a certain... 
an, it's, it's man, they're mandating a certain form of ID. So you're, they don't <laughs> allow everybody. student IDs. For black, wait, wait a second, white, Sean. So are you, I have to ask you, well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Sean. Um, why is it that students aren't allowed to vote with their student ID, not, or listen, a senior listen to me, citizen, listen to me. or a senior citizen question, who doesn't have a driver's a license student has ID. to pay for an ID? I can go down the street here in New York. I'm asking you, what is wrong with a photo ID to prove you're an American so we keep our electoral system honest? How many, how many, what world do you guys live in where you think that there's tons and tons and tons of illegal immigrants voting? What is that? Okay, let's let's get back to the issue of photo ID. Going into the NAACP, conven NAACP convention every single year, you have to have photo ID. When Attorney That's General Eric, when either. Attorney General Eric Holder speaks at these conventions, you have to show that an ID. That is not true. When you go, into, there, the department, you when you go into the Department of Justice, you need a photo ID. Yesterday, the ironic thing is that hundreds of thousands, you can of, use a, you hundreds can use a lot of thousands different forms of people IDs, went to Katie, Washington D.C. The they traveled to that Washington. Is the distinction. Let that me finish my point, sir. If you're going to do television, you need to learn how to be respectful. Respectful and take your you turn. You won't answer my question, take so you respectful and answer my question. You're not the host question. of the show, sir, <laughs> Richard Fowler. The main point is hundreds of thousands of people came to Washington, D.C. yesterday and from all over the country. What do they need to get there? Either they need an ID to get on an airplane, they need an ID to get Various in a forms car, of ID, not they need an ID form, to get on a bus. The law that's in Texas, bus. the law that's in North Carolina, Everyone the law that's in ID. South Carolina. This is Would a you like me to continue? Argument. I gotta go. We'll give Katie the last word. Mr. Fowler? You can't let her finish. It's all right. We'll give you time. 